month has, so I think it's day 11. And I'm about to get my second drain taken out. I did get the first one out, um, the one over here on my right side. He's gonna take the left one out today. I'm gonna try to record. I couldn't record it last time, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and record it today for you guys. But I only have one drain in. This is the drain and it's coming out today. So a lot of women say that they feel better after they get the drains taken out. I'm still walking with a hunch. I can't walk straight. Let me show y'all. This is how I'm walking. I can't stand up straight because of my, I wanna say because of my muscle repair. It's hard for me to stand up straight. But I record him taking a drain out. That was great. I'm just gonna make sure there's no fluid left in here. How are you doing? Uh, Excited to get them out? Okay. One, two, three. Oh. It's out. Okay. I feel so weird. I know, it's like so a little, weird. like something wiggling on the inside. Yes. I've been told. Yeah. YouTube. I am back with a four week tummy tuck update for you guys. I wanted to do a two week update, but that week was really hard for me. I'll get more into that, um, you know, towards the end of this video. But in the clip that you guys just saw, that was me getting my drain removed. Um, like I said, that was day 11. I didn't get a chance to record. So in that first week, I got my first drain removed on day eight. And then I got my second one removed day 11. Um, it didn't really hurt that bad. You can see in the video, I was kind of like holding my breath and then I just kind of exhaled once he took it out. I don't like looking at stuff like that. So I tried to turn my head, but um, it wasn't too bad. It was a really quick pain. Once he got it out, I didn't feel that, you know, some women say they get it out and they feel just like a weight lifted off their, sh their shoulder. I didn't have that feeling. I really felt the same. The drains didn't really bother me. They were kind of annoying because they were in the way, me trying to put my clothes on and everything. But they weren't paying for anything. So um, once, as you can see in that video, I was very swollen. My stomach looks like I never even had a tummy tuck. So when he took the drain out, he noticed that I had what looked like seroma is what it's called, and that's fluid buildup. And he thought that that's what I had in the bottom of my stomach. So he was like, I need to um, try to drain this fluid because it looks like you have fluid. So he went and he got a needle and he numbed my stomach and my stomach was already numb, but he put some stuff on it. He numbed it and he put this needle inside me, inside my stomach. And then he kind of pulled, nothing came out. So it was not seroma, thank God. It's not fluid buildup. I was just extremely swollen that day. Um, let's see, what else happened? I have my notes here because I have a, a lot of stuff I want to go over. Like I said, I wanted to record week two, but it wasn't a good week for me. Um, so yeah, I got the drain removed. The pain level on week one. So I stopped taking my Oxy, I want to say day four, day three or four is when I stopped taking the Oxys. The worst part of this, as far as pain, days one through three, those are really bad. Day four, I think I was only taking Tylenol to help with pain. 
um, the muscle repair is what hurts the most out of the, the entire tummy tuck, you know, procedure. It's not the scar. The lipo burns hurt too, but for me, it, it was the, the muscle repair. The muscle repair is, till this day, you know, I still feel some type of sensation or something. Um, so yeah, like I said, days one through three were really, really bad. Um, I started to feel better pain wise week two and week two was bad mentally. I wanted to do a two week update, but I couldn't because I just wasn't in my, my, my right mind. I was so emotional, crying about every little thing. I was having regrets. You know, my husband's trying to make me feel better. The kids, everybody, and everybody's been, everybody in my family has been really, really supportive. But because I'm pretty much just sitting around and I can't do anything for myself, it was hard having to depend on everybody. So that was really bad week two. I didn't want to do anything. I, don't, I didn't want to be bothered with nobody. I was just like, leave me alone. You know, I'll, I'll make my YouTube videos when I can. So that's the reason why I had you guys waiting. I'm sorry, but you know, I'm giving you guys a four week update. And as you can see, I'm doing so much better. Um, so week two, besides me being really emotional, um, I did end up ordering my stage two Faha. So that's what I have on right now. This is a stage two. I tried to put that on, on day 13. And when I tell y'all that thing was so uncomfortable, it was so, so uncomfortable. And I know putting on a Faha is not supposed to be like the best experience. But when I put it on, I felt like, I just felt like it was, it was too soon. I felt like I was hurting myself. So I ended up ordering a stage one Faha. And the, the difference from the stage two and the stage one is that, see how this one has four rows? The stage one only has one row and it zips. And it was so much more comfortable than the stage two. When I put that on, I had it on with just a foam board. End up ordering, I mean, uh, yeah, the foam boards, which are like the white padding. They're really soft. I ended up putting that on just in the front. And that helped with some, you know, help keeping the swelling down. I ended up getting my first massage also a week two. And that was a really good experience. The lady came. She actually came to me. Um, she gave me an hour-long massage. She did 30 minutes on my back and 30 minutes on my stomach. And after she was done, that felt, I felt amazing. I felt really, really good. Um, but I can't afford to do those every week. So I'm looking into doing my own self massages. I've had, I have been doing them. I just don't know if I'm doing them right. I've looked up a few YouTube videos. Um, everybody says to do them differently. I see some people saying, push the fluid down. And then I see some massage, uh, some people where they're going up. So I'm really confused on which direction I'm supposed to be going, but I'll look more into that. Um, what else? So I did the, I got the stage one. Let's see. Okay, so that was week two. Going into week three. Week three is what well, was my turnaround point. That's when I started to see my results more. Um, like I said, I went and got my massage. When the lady, after she massaged me, she asked me what type of garment was I wearing. And I told her I'm wearing a stage one with the foam board in front. And she said, okay, well, you need to do the foams all around. So put them on your sides and put them on your back. So that night, I got my foams. I actually cut one in half. And I put one half on, you know, each side and one on my back. When I woke up that next morning... My sides were like in, like I had that hourglass and that's what I had been looking for. Like I, I, well, I didn't say this. So the first week when I looked at my results, I did not, I wasn't a fan of them at all. I thought my doctor had me look, he did have me looking like SpongeBob and I'm gonna insert that picture too. My stomach was so square and I'm like, Lord Jesus, I hope I don't look like this. You know, it was flat, yeah, but I was like this. And he told me that it was swelling and I just didn't believe him and come to find out it was swelling because now I do have the look that I was going that you know that I wanted that I paid for so I'm gonna insert that picture also so y'all can see what I'm talking about I was so mad at my doctor I said I paid this man all this money he got me looking like Spongebob <laughs> so um when I put the foam boards in that really helped tremendously get my shape coming along and that's actually what I have underneath this Faha right now. I have on, it's um, boards, but it's the harder ones. I, I, I got it upstairs somewhere. I, 
I'll do another video and I'll show y'all everything, but the one that I have in, it wraps around my whole stomach instead of me having to put pieces in. So it gives me like an even compression. This is my first time wearing it, so hopefully it does what it's supposed to do. Um, okay, so let's talk about week three. So week three, like I said, it was my turnaround point. I started feeling a lot better. My shape was coming in. But then I started, so I did start work week three. I went to work, I went on a Wednesday, it was my first day. And on Thursday, I had been having this breathing problem, which I was experiencing, I wanna say since week two, early week two. And it's not that I am like shortness of breath. The only way I can describe it is when a child has been crying or even if you've been crying for a long time and then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> like that I don't know if it's like you're trying to catch your breath I do that just not to that extreme and it comes out of nowhere like I'll just be relaxing I'll be in bed and next thing you know I'm like <laughs> like that so I said let me go to the doctor and find out what's going on so I went to urgent care urgent care did some blood work my blood work came back abnormal so they're like you got to go to the emergency room immediately because you could possibly have blood clots so I went to ER ER they did an EKG on me they did a CT scan Everything came back fine. My D-dimer is what it's called, was like really, really high. So my mom, who was a nurse, I called her and I said, well, you know, do you think that this is common? Is it because I, because I had surgery? What's going on? So she's like, call your doctor. So I called my doctor, which I probably should have to begin with, but you know, you call your mama for everything. So I called my doctor the next day and I told him what was going on. He immediately called me. He's, I mean, he immediately, um, I text him and he immediately called me. And he's like, I'm going to order ultrasound for your legs, you know, just to make sure because I'm not sure about the D-dimer, why it would be so high. I'm not 100% sure of this because of surgery. So he did, I did the ultrasound on my legs. That came back normal, thank God. Um, and so I talked to him again. He said it, he talked to a few of his colleagues and it could be from surgery. So I do have a follow-up appointment with my uh, primary physician and they're going to let me know how my blood work and everything is. So... Thank God I don't have any blood clots. That's a good thing. As far as my breathing, he can't figure out why. Um, like I said, it, it doesn't happen. It's not all the time, but it is every day. Every day I do have that. I don't know if it's because of my muscle repair, what's going on. But yeah, I have been you know, having a little funny breathing thing. But no clots, thank God. Another thing that I want to talk about is the swelling that goes on on your lower back. So it is getting better because I do compress that area. But with when your back is swollen like that, it looks like your butt is just pretty much deflated. Like my ass is gone right now. <laughs> and I know it's a combination of me being swollen and me being hunched over. But I hate it. I'm almost like, damn, did I sacrifice my, my, my stomach? I mean, my ass for my stomach? You know, I got a, a flat stomach and a flat ass too <laughs> and we don't want that we we don't want that so i know that it's swelling and hopefully it'll be back in a couple of weeks but i tried to try on some clothes and you know try to see how my results and i turn around i'm like oh no i don't like that so yeah that's another thing so ladies don't be alarmed when you do get your tummy tuck unless you get a bbl along with your tummy tuck your butt is going to be gone for at least six weeks it will return but yeah just a heads up as far as my pain level, I only feel my muscle, the soreness, and I only feel that if I'm doing something like coughing, sneezing, laughing, um, you know, anything that'll make your muscles contract is the only time that I feel them. I don't have any pain just sitting here, you know, you said I can move around. Um, let me stand up for y'all. I still cannot stand up straight. This is, it looks like I'm straight, but I'm not I'm on these baggy pants. <laughs> but this is kind of, this is how I am. I cannot straighten this this part. I, I can't. No matter what I do, I can't bring myself to stand. I can do this, but I just I can't stand up the way that I was prior to having surgery. This is an improvement though. This is because I was like this. For a long, like week one and two, I was like this, <laughs> looking like an old lady. 
So I do feel a lot better that I can stand up a lot straighter than what I was. And a lot of women ain't standing up till about six weeks. It took them a long time. Some women were standing straight by week one. I don't know. Maybe my doctor just pulled me really tight. I like that he did that, but I thought by week four, I would be upright. Thank y'all so much for watching my tummy tuck update. I hope I covered everything. If not, ask any questions you have in the comments. And I'll do a separate video just answering those questions alone. Um, let me know how you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.